Eric Hartmann was born in April 1922. He was a well-known German fighter pilot who received the most recognition during Second World War. Also, Hartmann was the most victorious fighter pilot of aerial warfare. He achieved all the heights of success and went through war crime charges during Second World War. Eric Hartmann flew 1,404 battles and contributed to the aerial fight on 824 occasions. He had a distinguished record of shooting down 352 Allied aircraft. It includes seven American and 345 Soviet Union aircraft. Also, he was forced to crash land the fighter 16 times. His life was full of adventures and achievements. Also, he went through a dark phase during his imprisonment period. Eric Hartman completed his fighter pilot education in 1942. He started his career with the most experienced fighter pilots of the Luftwaffe. The experience of other fighter pilots helped him to learn fighting tricks. He received the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross Award. He got it within one year. Soon after, he received swords to the Knight's Cross with oak leaves, iron cross with oak leaves, and diamonds. He had received the highest military award of Germany of that time. He followed a proven strategy on the Eastern Front. He always shocked his enemies with surprise and quick attacks. Also, he was well known for striking at a close range. He never alerted his enemies and did not leave any scope to oppose. His strategies made him the most successful German fighter pilot. In 1945, he claimed his last but 352nd aerial victory a few hours before the surrender of Germany. Eric Hartmann surrendered to the Army Forces of the United States. He faced war crime charges and was also convicted. Initially, he got 20 years of imprisonment sentence. However, it increased to 25 years. But he spent 10 years in different prison camps of the Soviet Union. In 1955, he got released. Later, Russian Federation relieved him of all the war crime charges. He joined the West German Air Force in 1956. He became the first Yachtgeschwader's Jeschwader Commodore and served it till 1970. After his retirement, he worked as a flight instructor and died at 71 on 20th of September 1993. The life of Eric Hartmann teaches us about successes, achievements, and struggles. However, he continued to serve his country and worked relentlessly till the end regardless of the adversities. In this video, we will know more about his early life. We will cover achievements, charges, and the post-war period. As always, if you want more videos as this one, help this channel with your likes and comments. Early Life Eric Hartmann was born to Dr. Alfred Eric Hartmann and Elizabeth Wilhelm in McFalf in Weissach, Württemberg. He was forced to spend his early childhood in China due to the economic depression followed by the First World War. In 1928, he returned to Germany under the influence of the Chinese Civil War. During the Second World War, his brother joined the Luftwaffe. However, his brother, Alfred, was captured and spent four years in a British prison. Eric Hartmann completed his education at the Volksschule, Bublingings Gymnasium, and National Political Institutes of Education. He received a bitcher at the gymnasium in Cornell. Also, he met his wife at this place. With a glider training program, his flying career started. His mother was a female glider pilot, and she taught him flying. They also had a light aircraft, but they sold it after the collapse of the economy of Germany. At 14, Hartmann started teaching gliding and became a gliding instructor. In 1937, he had a gliding license. It enabled him to fly a powered aircraft. In 1940, Hartmann got his military training in New Curran. In 1942, he joined Lufkrieg Schule II in Berlin Gatto. Also, within three weeks, he had his solo flight. During his training, Hartmann learned gunnery skills and combat techniques. In 1942, he completed advanced pilot training. His career as a trainer pilot witnessed many ups and downs. During a training flight, he was punished for ignoring the regulations. The punishment was the confinement of one week and loss of two-thirds of the pay. However, this punishment saved his life. His roommate took his charge and died due to the crash land. He received training to fly 17 different types of powered aircraft. Second World War Eric Hartmann participated in the Second World War and supported Germany's endeavor with many successes. He was assigned to Yachtgeschwader 52, a fighter wing, on the Eastern Front. The fighter wing had the Messerschmitt BF-109G, but the pilots had to handle the ferrying junkers. His first flight was a failure due to brake issues. Also, he was assigned to the 3rd JG-52. He worked with experienced pilots such as Hans Dammers, Joseph Swernemann, and Alfred Grislowski. After a few practice fights and mock combats, Grislowski approved Hartmann as a talented pilot. With practice, Hartmann developed a tactic that he called sea-to-side attack break. He learned this from Rosman. In October, 
Hartman flew the first combat mission as Rosman's wingman. But he separated from Rosman and failed to impress and ended with a crash landing. During the flight, Hartman violated almost all the rules. As a result, he had to work with the ground crew for three days. However, Hartman achieved a victory within a few days. He added more victories to his tally as well. He proved himself as a consistent and successful fighter pilot with time. On 5th of July, he had four wins during the Battle of Kursk. In a favorable and target-rich environment, Hartman performed well regularly. In July 1943, he had many victories with his name. On July 8th and 9th, he claimed four each day. However, at the beginning of August 1943, he had 42. But the tally had much more by the end. He claimed more than the double within such a short period. During his combats, he lost his respect towards the Soviet Union pilots. They were not talented and did not register a win with successful tactics. However, German pilots learned from their enemies and planned for surprise attacks. They also benefited from the weakness of their enemies. Hartmann was also well known for his fighting techniques. He followed the stock and ambush tactics and preferred to fire at a close range. His tactic was to hold the fire until the target was close. Also, he liked to select an easy target or get a more favorable position. After the attack, the first focus was to vacate the area. In 1944, Hartmann had five victories, and he successfully resisted the Soviet Union. During the same year, he engaged the aircraft of the Army Air Forces of the United States. He was flying in defense for the first time. However, he ran out of bullets but saved himself. In August, he became the top-scoring fighter by surpassing Gerhard Barkhorn. His 274th victory rewarded him with this record. However, he crossed the 300 mark in the same month. Apart from this achievement, he got the diamonds to his Knight's Cross. He was among those 27 German World War II soldiers who received this prestigious award. During a meeting with Hitler, he focused on the shortcoming of fighter pilot training. On 1945, Hartmann became Gruppenkommandeur of I. Slash JG5. On 17th April, he had his 350th aerial victory. His last combat was on 8th May. He surrendered his unity to the U.S. 90th Infantry Division. Criminal Charges After the surrender, the U.S. Army handed him to the Soviet Union. He stayed in the Soviet prison, and the Soviet Union tried to convince him. The Soviet Union wanted him to spy on his fellow officers. However, he refused and stayed in solitary confinement for 10 days. The Soviet Union did not create a favorable situation for him. He was forced to sleep on the concrete and survived with bread and water. Also, the Soviet Union threatened to kill his wife. He opted for a hunger strike and continued it for four days until force feeding. During the initial investigation, Hartman was sentenced to 10 years. He protested many times against the judgment. However, he was charged with war crimes, and Hartman conducted his defense instead of confessing those crimes. But the Soviet Union did not accept his defense, and he got 25 years of hard labor sentence. Hartman did not obey it and refused to work. As a result, he was in solitary confinement. He spent 10 years in different prisons of the Soviet Union and got released in late 1955. However, the Russian Federation acquitted him of all the criminal charges in 1997, three years after the death of Hartman. Postwar. During his imprisonment, Eric Peter, the son of Hartman was born. He died within three years without seeing his father. After his release from the Soviet Union Army, he joined the military service again and commanded the all-jet unity of West Germany. He went to the United States many times and received training from American instructors. He worked as a flight instructor from 1971 to 1974. He died at the age of 71 in Wallen Schönbuch. History remembers Eric Hartmann as a successful fighter pilot who performed exceptionally well during the Second World War and tried to defend himself against the war crime charges. Even Russian Federation acquitted him of all charges. To end this video, remember, if you want more videos as this one, help this channel with your likes and comments.